Fran, you look so deep in thought. I'm thinking about my first love, my very first Bernina. Well, it is National Sewing Machine Day. Oh, and we have lots of love stories to share. Keep watching. Hi, it's Fran Morgan. And Donna Robertson with Fabric Cafe. Today is National Sewing Machine Day. And even though sewing machines sometimes are seen as tools, they make big impacts on our lives. And those impacts are really reflected from the stories that you shared with us. And we have lots of them today. That's right. And we also have super kits and a special guest appearance. So let's jump in and look at the first quilt. Now, the first quilt we're looking at today is called Sweet Times. And I love this one. One, because it's really, really fast. And two, because it has a really nice big block here. So if you have a special fabric, this is a great place to put it. And I'm going to tell you, we have some special fabric. So let's check that out. Now look at this great fabric that we have. Isn't that These, beautiful? It is. I mean, sewing machines in bloom. And I have to say something about this, which this is what it made me think of whenever I first saw this fabric. Okay. You know, our sewing machines started off when they were the first were invented, I suppose, way, way many, many, <laughs> many, many years ago. I should know that. I don't know the year. But they were tools. You know, they were sold in vacuum cleaner stores. Mm -hmm. And they were an accessory that was considered a necessity for housewives. Oh, absolutely. Not a creative thing so this to me symbolizes what happens when you get a sewing machine and it just blooms and creates all of these magnificent things it is just a beautiful uh, yeah. garden I love it it's the symbology of this is just perfect to me absolutely so this is our fabric one and it is going to go in that big block so that it's really featured prominently mm -hmm. so it's really going to be pretty now our fabric too and I like this because it kind of picks up the little bits of blooms on the sewing machine and that is going to go everywhere this lighter pink is here and then isn't this fun our polka oh, dot the black with the pink is just fantastic and it is going to go everywhere the purple is so it's going to border every other block as well as on the border and the binding and it is just so much fun and I love these sewing machines being featured in this big block now we have an image here which is fantastic and I love the way that it really shows it off it's really very fun and it really highlights those sewing machines which I love now we have lots of love stories to share with you today and I think that you have one for us. I do and you know what's really neat about this is it really reminds me of my early days of sewing. Uh, this story is from Elizabeth S. and she says, When I was about 10 I was complaining because all of the other kids at school had new clothes. But since we were so poor we always had to wear hand-me-downs. Mom had an old treadle machine my grandma gave her, and she only used it once in a while. One day, my sister and I came home to find the machine set up and ready to go. Mom walked us up, plopped us down with a length of red calico for my sister and blue calico for me. Each had a pattern on top. She said, you want new clothes? Then learn to make them. That's all the instructions we received from her. We not only sewed those dresses, my sister was much better than mine, but we went on to make most of our clothes all the way through high school. I still have that treadle machine 58 years later, and once in a while I open it up, clean it, and give it a run. It still sews good and makes great quilts now. Oh, that is a great, great story. Isn't that awesome? Because yes. I was 10 when my mom brought a machine home and told us three girls, you got to make your own clothes. Oh, isn't that a coincidence? <laughs> it's got to be overwhelming. It's like <laughs> exciting, but at the same time, oh my goodness. <laughs> I never got overwhelmed. I was just excited. That's I was great. so excited. <laughs> oh, you're such a creative person by nature. So it was there. Now we have another really great story here we would love to share with you. And this story is from Lynn C. And she writes, I was 12 when I bought my first sewing machine. I had saved up $50 and went to the store owned by my father's cousin. He asked me how much I had to spend and he showed me the machine I could afford. It was a Singer Spartan, perfect for a beginner sewist. That was in 1964. I am now an avid quilter. Oh, love that it. is such a great story. <laughs> 
And we have some great stories about us. We sure do, but you'll have to wait till the end of the show to hear those great stories because we're going to share our first love experience. Yes. Now, before we go on to the next quilt and some more stories, let's get the kit information on this. This great sewing machine kit is called Floral Stitches. The number is 8023188. The pattern is Sweet Times, and that is from the Easy Peasy book. Now this quilt really fits its name. It's called So Fast, and it's a super simple quilt that is put together, and it looks like you've done something hard, but you have not. So let's put it on the table, and we'll talk about the fabric and the pattern. It's always fun when we have the actual quilt made yes, up, isn't it? I it love really that. is. And this is darling. It Absolutely is. Absolutely darling. Now this one, if you'll hand me the cropper, I'll show you real fast because it is so simple and easy to make this block. You're going to make the same block and it's going to be made twice out of two different colorways. So look at that. All it is is strip piecing with three strips and then you do the same thing over here. So they, they only have the top and the bottom, but whenever you turn them, it creates that look as if it's a sashing that is a little off, yeah, but it makes such a cute movement. It is wonderful. It's okay, perfect. so with the number one fabric, we have these wonderful spools and buttons. And you know, I inherited my grandmother's uh, sewing supplies because uh -huh. I was such an avid sewing <laughs> <laughs> seamstress. Yep. So after my grandmother passed away, my mother gave me all of her fabrics and it had all of these wooden spools in it. And that was just so cool to have all those. I remember those. Do you? Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yes. And I still have them and they still have thread on them, but I think maybe it might be dry rotted by now. <laughs> I probably but they make dry. such a wonderful keepsake. Oh, they <laughs> do. It was wonderful. So this is going to be our number one fabric. And our number one position is right here. And we also put it out in the border. Now the number two, and remember you compare your number two and three to get the lightest and the darkest. And that's the way we write the patterns and we design every pattern that way so that it will look good. And so this gives you your contrast. So your light goes here and then your number three fabric will be the sashing. And it just borders it so perfectly. Yes. And you know what I think would be fun? If we told another love story. <gasps> oh, let's do. All right. I have one right here from Judy M. And she writes, my first machine, which I still have, is a Kenmore and it has the most beautiful stitches. My mom and grandma both sewed and I learned so much from them of what to do and what not to do, like reversing the pattern on fabric that had nap. Oh my, yes, that was a valuable <laughs> lesson. Today, when I sew clothes and now quilts, I think of them and can hear them telling me still 50 years later how to do it. Both of them were incredible seam seamstresses, and my grandma also quilted. I hope they are proud that I am still sewing after all these years and that I'm working at being as good as they were. Oh, that's wonderful, Judy. That's a great story. Do you I can know, relate. it reminds me of something. Yes, because, okay. <laughs> Do you remember? So, um, of course, my mother <laughs> sewed as well and made incredible garments. And my grandmother also taught me to sew. Mm -hmm. And she had the singer slantomatic. Okay, we won't mm -hmm. go there. You know, we have some great <laughs> stories about us at the very end, so make sure you keep watching. That's right. <laughs> but I have to mention something that this reminded me of was the time that you went over to a friend house with me and uh -huh. she had twin kids uh -huh. and she was laying her patterns out and Fran's standing there and she's watching and she's watching and she reaches over and she goes <laughs> pulls my my shirt and I go what and she said she's she's not she's not putting her patterns on the straight of grain <laughs> I do remember that. <laughs> All of her arrows on her things are going the wrong way. <laughs> so, you know, she had it in her blood, too. She was only, you were probably only about 11 or 12 at the time. I was. Now, we have another great story. All right. I love all these stories. They're so fun. Okay, this is a great one, and this is from Evelyn G. My boyfriend, now husband, oh. Well, of course you'd marry a man like this. He bought me a used Kenmore oh. sewing machine for my 16th birthday. What a sweetheart. I know. That's wonderful. And she says, what a workhorse. I've had that machine for over 20 years. 
and oh my, the stories it could tell. That is great. Yeah. That is absolutely fabulous. Now, you know, we got all of these stories from you, from our social media and our YouTube. So if you have not subscribed to YouTube, be sure and do that. And then of course, uh, follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And often we do ask these kinds of questions, like what are your favorite stories about this or that? And then we can do something like a video and share them with everyone. So we thank you so mm -hmm. much. So you can be a star too. Yes. <laughs> okay, the kit information on this awesome sewing kit is Love You So. Oh, it's so that sweet. <laughs> 8023101. And it is the so fast pattern. Now our next quilt is so quick and this is one of the Fabric Cafe favorites. I think for all of you as well as us as well because it's so fast to put together. Nice big block here, nice four patch here, alternated, makes it really quick. We're gonna put this on the table and look at some really fun fabric and meet our special guest. Well, we have Donna Holmes here with us today. Thank you for joining oh, us. It's always so fun. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> And you have a really great story that you're going to share with us. But first, yep. let's share the fabric with everyone yes. and talk about that because it's so darling. It is so, so cute. So once again, we have this kind of uh, vintage sewing machine here with all the spools and bobbins and everything. Scissors in the background, super cute. Goes in our large block here, so it's going to really show those off. Now our, our fabric number two is just this nice great beige and I think it's so fun with all the polka dots. And that, that is gonna go everywhere the yellow is on this one. And then our number three, aren't these fun? All of these tape measures. And what's really cool is these tape measures pick up all the colors and the, oh. the threads and the bobbins and the spools and everything. That goes here and where the black is, which will be on the border, which will really frame it nicely. So really like this one, so much fun. And as you can see from the image on the screen, it just turned out absolutely darling. And remember, this one is super fast to make, so it'll be an easy one to put together in no time at all. So Donna, yes. tell us your first love story with your sewing machine. Okay, I will. I'll, although I do have to say I have a machine that looks like this at home. Oh, really? <laughs> That's so cute. I do, but mm -hmm. it was not my first love. Oh. It was not. My first love, we have to go back in time, many, many years ago. <laughs> I think I was maybe nine-ish, because mm -hmm. I asked my mom, and for Christmas, I got my first sewing machine. Ooh. Wow. It was so tiny. You know what? I actually have it with me. Can I have Hannah? Absolutely. Awesome. Oh my uh, goodness. <laughs> so this is my first sewing machine. It's the Singer, little touch and sew. How many of you have one of these? Oh my goodness. You know, that does maybe tell a little bit about your age, but that's okay. <laughs> it even came, I have the instruction book. It has a story in it. I remember it had a story in there and the whole thing and the little tiniest bobbin. And if you want to know what this was for, you could literally hand crank. Oh, how cute. Your machine. Oh, but i um, got it hanging out, it might fall out now. <laughs> or it had a plug-in, but it literally has on or off. So you better be pretty good at that. My mom put a little <laughs> bit of fingernail polish on there so I would know which was on and off mm -hmm. to help. And that was my beginning of a dream of being a fabric, like an apparel designer. Mm -hmm. But, mm -hmm. um, you know, Barbie and Skipper and all those, those were my first models. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> loved, loved it. So this is my machine that I have literally carried around for many, many years. I love and, it. And um, yeah, I just, it's, I can't part with it. Yeah, and you know, you're such an accomplished quilter now <laughs> that it's just amazing. I wonder if your mom had any idea what she sparked in the very beginning <laughs> back when you were sewing nine years machine. old. <laughs> my mom is a quilter, and um, she did tell me that when I got it, my aunt and uncle came over, my cousins, and everybody had to try out my little <laughs> sewing machine. That's so fun. All the little boys were probably over there cranking <laughs> on that. I don't know what we did. I don't remember all that. I just remember. <laughs> that is I just great. remember oh, that. So obviously it was, sewing machines are very treasured to mm -hmm. me. Um, I have this one. I have a few more now. One that looks like that. One that was my husband's grandmother's that actually when we moved 
Um, I did shed a tear or two over when I had to leave it, but it was ending its, its useful era. Yes, yes. So, yes. Anyway. Well, why don't you share with all of those wonderful, lovable people out there <laughs> the information about the kit? All right. This kit that you're going to want is 802-3142, and it's called Vintage Stitching, and we suggest the So Quick pattern. Okay, this one, this quilt is, it is, its name is very appropriate. It's called Allure, and it, you're just drawn to it. The way the fabric is placed, it draws you to the focus, and it also draws you to the center of this block. So we're going to put this up on the table and talk about more wonderful sewing Thanks. fabric. Yes. You know, this, all of this sewing fabric is just bringing back so many, and I love stories. So yes. many stories. Yes. I love it. Now, the first, uh, the number one, the focus fabric, are the scissors. And I don't know about you, but I have lots and lots of scissors. You know, you just can't yes. be without them, so you have them in the sewing kit, and you mm -hmm. have them beside the machine, and on the machine, and in the drawers. <laughs> <laughs> because there's nothing more uh, frustrating than not being able yeah. to find a scissor. And, and the ones you hide, so no one else will use them. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> So this is the number one fabric, and it's going to be everywhere you see the uh, floral here. And then, once again, you compare your one and two, and you put your lightest in. This will be framing, and doesn't that look it sweet? Looks amazing. I can't wait to show you the image. And then the number three fabric is going to frame, so that really does help Ooh. frame. And look how it pulls out that aqua. Isn't it that cool? It does. That is great. And mimics all the little buttons. Yeah. And that's going to be the frame, the, the binding, and the center here in the center of this block. That is so cute. Okay. Now let's look at that image. Is that not sweet? I think every one of these quilts, they're just made for sewing themes. Of course. But that is so cute. I, I really, it. really like the green in this and how it picks up the green in the scissors. I think it just really adds a nice, it's a punch, but it's a soft punch. And I really like that. Yeah, I really like that too. Well, I think it's time for another love story. Oh, and we have a great one from Kathy J. Kathy writes, I'm piecing quilts on the Bernina that I learned to sew on in the early 70s, so close to 50 years ago. Mother said to dad, if she's going to take an interest in sewing, we need a better machine. She had an old white sewing machine at the time. They went and bought a new Bernina. Ooh. Mm -hmm. nice. Mom and I both sewed our clothes on it, including my wedding dress, baby clothes, and now I am piecing quilts and occasionally mending on it. It still keeps going. I don't want a new machine. I am nearly 65 years old, and I hope it will last me the rest of my life. Well, it probably will. It's a great machine, it, it great sounds machine. like. Now we have another one here. Oh, great. All right, this one is from Rexy J. And she says, my first sewing machine was a foot-powered machine with a large, elaborate 1908 printed on the side wow. of the machine and its wooden table. My great-grandmother had it from her childhood. How cool is that? That is cool. She would sit me on her lap. I was about three years old and carefully helped guide my hands to make clothes for my dolls while she powered the foot pedal. She passed away a few years later, and my family was silly and thought the machine wasn't worth keeping. Oh, whoa. <laughs> no, no, no. I stopped sewing after that and didn't sew again. Oh. Then I graduated from high school and finally to de decided to spend money on a Foth hobby. Wow, nice. Isn't that sweet? I've been sewing ever since, ever since, and have quite a number of different machines. I still use my hobby to sew denim and thicker fabrics, oh. but for lighter clothing items, quilting pieces, and small projects, I use my brother and baby lock machines. My goal is to one day find a machine similar to what great mama taught me to sew on. That is a great oh. story. And you know, that really is part of the whole sewing thing is we have these stories around our, you know, you spend so much yeah. time making the things, you really do get an emotional attachment. You do, you do. And this kit number is 8023189, so fun. 
Allure is the pattern from the book Magic of Three Yard Quilts, and an alternate pattern would be Pretty Please. A good, trustworthy, reliable sewing machine makes all the difference. I know that it really helps me whenever I'm working on a project. Oh, I agree totally. And I would like to share my love story. Oh, yeah. Yes, and I mentioned earlier that I was about 10 whenever Mama brought home a sewing machine and told the three of us girls that we needed to make our own clothes. Well, I was the baby, so they didn't really expect much from me. I was only 10, and so of the three. Um, and my sisters did it a little bit, a little bit grudgingly, but they knew that they wanted clothes, they were gonna have to make it. <laughs> and uh, I was just chomping at the bits to sew. I wanted to play on that machine. Oh, wow. But we really didn't have a lot of money, so the first uh -huh. thing that I used to sew on was paper. And that didn't work very well. <laughs> <laughs> Not for clothes. <laughs> You sew on paper and it would just, you know, that was like perforated paper so it would tear. But um, my sister started sewing and they gave me their scraps and so I made Barbie doll clothes. And I discovered that the straight pins with the little balls on them made great earrings for Barbie. Oh. <laughs> you know, <laughs> ear Barbie. So, yeah. <laughs> but it didn't take long before uh, Mama started letting me do sewing. Uh -huh. So uh, I made my Easter dress when I was 11. Wow. Yeah, I, would, I mean, I, I just jumped oh in goodness. with both feet. And then when I was 13, my sister got married, my oldest sister got married, uh -huh. and I made a suit for her wedding. That's and, impressive. Yeah, it was pretty amazing. And whenever I went off to school, um, my um, home economics teacher was so excited to find out that I knew how to thread a singer slant matic <laughs> and that I knew how to fill the bobbins, and I knew, how, so I became her right arm in the home economics sewing class. <laughs> and while other people were making the gathered skirt out mm -hmm. of a rectangular piece of fabric, mm -hmm. I was over there acting like the overachiever that I sometimes can be. Oh. But I'm telling you, that machine stayed with us, and then yes. you learned how to sew? Yes, I did. I learned how to sew on that singer slant matic and actually, so my grandmother, your mother, mm -hmm. and you, of course, but she actually stepped me through the very first garment that I made, and it was a handkerchief blouse. Mm -hmm. I was so proud of that blouse. It was just my pride and joy. I had my school pictures in it because that is what, I mean, it was just the bomb, okay? <laughs> I was so proud of it. But then I continued on, and you helped me learn so many things, and mm -hmm. we sewed on that machine, and it just, I just done so, I mean, I started quilting, I started embellishing my clothes, and then as I got older, now mm -hmm. I don't, I was in my 20s, I guess, and I just mm -hmm. moved into a fairly new house that needed an updated kitchen. We were given the kitchen a little bit of a facelift, mm -hmm. and I was saving my pennies to get a new refrigerator because that was the big expense in the kitchen for me at that time. And then I visited a Bernina store mm -hmm. and ended up using my refrigerator money for my new Bernina, which became the love of my life. <laughs> um, but then I had to go home and say, I spent the refrigerator money on a sewing machine. <laughs> <laughs> I never did get that, that refrigerator for that house, but <laughs> the other one worked just fine, right? It was very functional. The sewing machine was amazing and I loved it. And I made my first quilt with that machine mm -hmm. and I just went crazy and I really, Getting that machine was my inspiration to start doing all of the things and learning the art and the how to manipulate fabric in an artistic way. And it was life changing. Well, something that's a little bit of a secret about that machine is that when we started Fabric Cafe, that was the machine. That was the machine. Yeah. Fran brought it up here and uh, we we started making our first models on that particular machine. Absolutely. So, uh, so it was truly inspirational and life-changing. Mm -hmm. So it was really, really good. So I want to thank all of you for sending in your stories on our social media platforms. We really, really appreciate it. And don't forget, if you're not currently subscribed to our YouTube channel, do that and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And thank you from the bottom of our hearts for those stories. It's Fran Morgan. And Donna Robertson. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.